All right, well, with its important economic impact on Western New York, we are still closely following the cross-border travel situation with Canada as it relates to COVID. Canadian leaders did issue a new policy today with the new variant. But Channel 2's Ron Plant says there is just an advisory instead of outright new restrictions for Canadians. The Canadian government in a press briefing this afternoon is now urging its citizens to avoid non-essential foreign travel because of the spreading COVID Omicron variants in the provinces, but it is not yet an actual ban on such travel, including to the U.S. That advisory, which will be reviewed in four weeks, is perhaps setting the stage for more definite action, and it may cause some Canadians to think twice about coming to the U.S., crossing one of our Western New York international bridges. That's a concern for one travel industry expert. With the advisory, people are going to couple with that and, and, and maybe even pull back from maybe a, a prospective trip or potential trip that they had planned here. Uh, to cross the border. According to the CTV Canadian News Network, fully vaccinated Canadians returning to Canada after a short trip of 72 hours or less would at this point still be able to do so without proof of a negative molecular test, commonly known as the PCR test. That may be crucial for the incoming Canadian shoppers and the U.S. side merchants in Niagara County who really count on them. Percy says a snapshot shopping perspective of only Visa credit card international spending showed $59 million spent in Niagara County by such visitors in 2019, with much more spending projected besides just Visa. We're in the thick of the holiday shopping season, and Canadians are our best shoppers and, and really do impact you know, Western New York uh, by crossing and visiting our, our various malls and retailers and, and um, food outlets, including Wegmans and so forth. John Percy of Destination Niagara also said he recently heard from the Niagara Bridge Commission, which includes the Rainbow, Lewiston, Queenston and Whirlpool Bridges, not the Peace Bridge, which is separate here in Buffalo. But those bridges going into Niagara County saw a 50% increase in cross-border traffic since December 1st or so which is roughly when restrictions, including testing, were eased for the Canadians. So words of warning from those officials in Ottawa, but still some silver lining, despite the specter of COVID still looming over that crucial border trade. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.